Uranus's rings and new images from the Webb telescope. Uranus is surrounded by a system of rings, but they are not easy to see. They were first shown by Voyager 2 during its flyby of the planet in 1986. Now new images of Uranus have been taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The images show rings as well as bright structures in the planet's atmosphere. Uranus is the seventh planet of the solar system. It is a gas giant, although scientists sometimes refer to both Uranus and Neptune as ice giants. This is because the atmospheres of these planets, consisting primarily of hydrogen and helium, contain more frozen volatiles than the larger gas giants. Uranus has a ring system, numerous moons and is the coldest planet in the solar system. The minimum temperature there is minus 224 degrees Celsius. In addition to the coldest atmosphere, Uranus is also distinguished by its axis of rotation, which is strongly inclined and is located almost in the plane of the planet's orbit. Therefore, its poles lie where most planets in the solar system have an equator. This causes confusion with the seasons compared to other planets. As the planet's poles experience many years of constant sunlight followed by the same number of years of total darkness, Uranus takes 84 years to orbit the Sun. What could have caused Uranus to tilt sideways? Scientists believe that Uranus was hit by an object about twice the size of Earth in the ancient past. When it comes to rings, Saturn has the most spectacular rings in the solar system, but other planets like Jupiter and Neptune have them too. Uranus has them too. There are 13 known rings of Uranus, but they are largely a mystery to scientists. Not much is known about them because they are visible only with the most powerful telescopes. Therefore, they were discovered only in 1977, Jupiter's rings were discovered in 1979 and Neptune's in 1984. In a recent observation, astronomers turned the infrared sight of the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, on Uranus, showing the seventh planet from the Sun in a whole new light. When Voyager 2 imaged Uranus, Visible light images showed an almost smooth, featureless blue-green orb. At infrared wavelengths and with Webb's greater sensitivity, we see more detail, showing how dynamic Uranus's atmosphere really is. Uranus's unique axis of rotation means that its north pole is perfectly visible to an observer from Earth. In the image, the bright, Large area to the planet's right is clouds over the planet's north pole. Currently, the south pole is out of sight, on the other side of the planet. It is now late spring at the north pole of Uranus. Summer is expected in 2028. The clouds resembling the polar cap in the picture are unique to Uranus. They appear to appear when the pole comes into direct contact with the sun's rays in the summer and disappear in the fall. The data Webb collected may help scientists understand the currently mysterious mechanism behind this feature. Bright clouds can also be seen in other parts of the planet. They are probably related to thunderstorm activity. There are 13 known rings of Uranus. You can see 11 of them in Webb's new paintings. Some in the photos are so bright that they appear to merge into a larger ring. Nine of the rings are classified as the planet's major rings, and two are fainter dust rings. The two innermost rings invisible in the pictures are, according to NASA specialists, very faint. These rings were discovered in Hubble Space Telescope images in 2007 when the planet tilted so far from Earth that all its rings were visible. It will be several more decades before astronomers get another view like this. A view of all the rings of Uranus happens about every 42 years. 
Some of Uranus's 27 known moons are also visible in Webb's new images. While most are too small to be seen, the six brightest are perfectly visible. More observations of the planet with JWST are planned soon. Cinnamon can have a beneficial effect on the work of our brain. Many spices, when we look at them closely, turn out to have a beneficial effect on our body. Some support our digestive system. Others affect our immunity. In a recent study, scientists determined that cinnamon, a spice that we primarily associate with confectionery products, may have a beneficial effect on our memory and cognitive functions. Adding cinnamon to our diet can not only stimulate the taste buds. Previous studies have shown that consuming cinnamon can bring a number of health benefits. In a new analysis, scientists have determined that this popular spice improves memory and supports the learning process. Cinnamon is extracted from cinnamon trees. These evergreen trees can be found in the Himalayas, but also in other mountainous areas and rainforests in southern China and India. But what does cinnamon have to offer us apart from its extraordinary taste? Well, it has a lot. It turns out that it has an anti-inflammatory effect, is a good antioxidant, and supports our body in cancer prevention, as well as our immunity in general. Some studies have suggested that cinnamon may also have an impact on our cognitive abilities and brain function. However, convincing research results on this issue are lacking so far. A group of scientists has undertaken to summarize everything we know so far on the subject. In August 2021, they analyzed 2,605 scientific studies in this regard of which only 40 met the credibility criteria set by scientists. Among them, 33 cases were based on the observation of living organisms, and in 5 on research outside of them, e.g. by analyzing cells or tissues, and 2 concerned clinical trials. Studies on living organisms have confirmed that the consumption of cinnamon or its components, such as eugenol, Cinnamaldehyde and cinnamic acid, can have a positive effect. On the other hand, those carried out, in vitro, i.e. by analyzing cells, showed that adding cinnamon or cinnamaldehyde to the medium in a cell culture may, on the one hand, reduce the aggregation of tau protein and beta amyloid. Both proteins play an important role in the development of Alzheimer's disease, on the other hand, to increase the vitality of cells. However, the results of clinical trials were interesting. They were conducted on teenagers and adults up to 60 years of age in pre-diabetes. On the first attempt, participants were given cinnamon chewing gum, while on the second, 2 grams of cinnamon on white bread. Interestingly, the effect of cinnamon was only seen in teenagers, chewing gum seemed to improve their memory. When analyzing the study results, variables such as the amount of cinnamon used, the size of the study group, the type of cinnamon, and the age and gender of the participants were taken into account. Overall, most analyzers supported the conclusion that cinnamon can enhance both our cognitive abilities and memory. In most cases, it was also confirmed that it can not only prevent, but also reduce cognitive dysfunction. In such cases, it can serve as a natural adjuvant. In the context of potential results of further studies, the ones presented above bode well for the future and may be an incentive for further research groups.